Hello YouTubers, Rogue Monkey Jr. here, and welcome to another episode of Bare Bones Tuesday. Yeah, sorry I haven't posted a video of Bare Bones in a while. Uh, I was actually having a couple of problems with my recording software and not being able to capture Battlefield and stuff like that, so I was having trouble getting the, the game footage to be able to make the videos, but um, I'm not going to bore you guys with the details. Uh, moving on to the video, uh, today's uh, video is going to be by request on the AS Val. Um, it is a personal defense weapon available to the engineer class. Um, this is a weapon that you're going to really want to use in close quarters, which I find kind of kind of sucks that they don't make it the universal weapon like they did in Battlefield 3, because I find that I like to use this weapon in like team deathmatch or uh, uh, domination or capture the flag, but being as it's only available to the engineer, I don't find it uh, worth using the weapon but not being able to help out your team as much uh, since you're going to be able to have like the rocket launcher and stuff like that so I find it's kind of longer in that way but this gun, I, I really like this gun altogether um, just because if you want to be sneaky it's it's really good uh, you're going to be able to, to take down your enemies really fast because it has a max damage of 27 that's even uh, above some of the max damage uh, that uh, the assault rifles have and that's amazing. It's going to take you like four shots to kill your enemy uh, if you hit him directly in the chest. If you hit him in the head, it's going to take you a lot less shots. So the time to kill with this weapon is very low. And of course the damage drops off pretty severely. It goes all the way down to 15.4 at 44 meters. And the damage drop offs off at, starts at 5 meters. So uh, if you're trying to use this weapon for long range, uh, yeah, uh, good luck. Because you're going to have a hard time as as soon as you hit the 5 meter mark, it's going to start going down in damage, so that's pretty close. You're always going to have to close up the gap with your enemy, but seeing as this weapon has a silencer that you can't take off, you're going to be able to be a lot more uh, stealthy and flank your enemies, and they're going to sometimes have a hard time knowing where you are uh, because you have that silencer on. Uh, of course, having a silencer does come with some downside. Uh, your gun is going to have a muzzle, muzzle velocity of 300 meters per second, which is pretty damn slow. So if you're killing uh, enemies a little bit further, you're going to have to lead your target a lot more than you would with if you had a gun without a silencer. But something that's good with this gun, it has a rate of fire of 900 per minute. That's insane. Uh, you're going to chew through groups of enemies, like two, three guys in no time before they even have uh, any reaction time sometimes. But, of course, you're going to go through a lot of ammo, so there's like a downside and good side. So you really have to master this weapon and use it uh, to its advantages. And it also has a mag size of 21, so you're going to have to be, uh, time your reloads really good. Because it also has a reload time of 2.8 seconds when it's empty, and trust me, you're going to uh, go through all your bullets. Uh, quite often with this weapon, so you're gonna have to really time your reloads. And uh, the short reload is 1.95 seconds, which is not too bad, but you got 20 shots, so you know, make them count. And you're not gonna want to tap fire this weapon. This is a weapon that you're gonna want to use full automatic because it has a first shot recoil multiplier of 2.55. That weapon is gonna fucking jump around crazy if you tap fire it. Uh, the recoil is pretty manageable. It has recoil up of 0.33, a recoil left of 0.3, and a recoil right of 0.4. So you're going to be able to manage the recoil, but not if you uh, tap fire. That's really not a good uh, idea. It also has pretty good uh, hip fire accuracy. You can just walk around a corner and not even hip, uh, aim down sight. You're going to be able to take down your enemy no problem. He won't even know what's coming. Just because how the amount of damage this gun puts out per second, it's massive. Uh, your enemies are going to have a hard time if you're if you know how to use this weapon to its advantages. This gun is quite usable stock. Personally, I I, I didn't see any like major difference using it stock compared to having the attachments that I like on it. Of course, other than the fact that you have to use the uh, iron sights, which as everybody knows are pretty shitty in Battlefield. Uh, they're not too bad on the S Val, but I would still rather have uh, like a red dot sight, like a coyote red dot sight. It would make tracking enemies much more easy. Okay, so moving on to the attached attachments uh, that I use for the AS Valve. Uh, you guys can just slap on any uh, any of your favorite optics. Um, my favorite optic is obviously the Coyote Red Dot Sight, uh, just because it gives you the most uh, area that you can see in your screen. Like, it doesn't block off. There's no metal, thick metal housing around it. 
so you can see a lot more of your screen and track your targets easier. Uh, for the accessory, I just slap on the green laser sight. Sometimes I would put a flashlight on it if I was playing like in a Zavod uh, graveyard shift. Uh, just because sometimes when I go downstairs, like between C and D, you actually can't see much when all the lights are uh, destroyed. So I put on the, ta uh, the flashlight. Uh, obviously, you can't take off the suppressor. So it has its downsides, has its upsides, play to its strengths. Uh, the attachment for the underbarrel, uh, just use the tail grip. Because, or it's like the stubby grip, you want to improve the accuracy uh, of the gun because you're going to be using it in auto, in full auto, most of the time. You're not going to be tap firing, or like, unless you want to really hip fire the weapon and use it that way, you can like slap on the vertical grip or like uh, the ergo grip on it. But I aim downside a lot, so I just throw on potato grip. And this is how I run the AS Val. Yeah, I love using this weapon, like mostly, like I said, the night shift map, because you can be really sneaky and get some awesome flanks off, and you're going to be able to decimate your opponents before they even have time to react, because they're going to have a hard time uh, spotting you. So finishing this video off with a little bit of Operation Locker uh, gameplay on Team Deathmatch. Um, I really like using this weapon on uh, Team Deathmatch uh, modes, but of course I don't do it very often because it's not as useful to my team as if I were a medic uh, using an assault rifle or a carbine. But that's unfortunate because it's in these instances that the PDWs uh, really excel. But uh, as you can see in my uh, gameplay, um, I can actually like pick out like, two, three enemies in one clip if they're close enough, and I actually hip fire a lot more than I would with uh, other weapons, uh, just because it has pretty good hip fire accuracy. And you can see sometimes though that it's really hard to take out enemies that are like not that far away, 10, 15 meters out. Uh, just, but just because uh, the damage uh, drop off is so fast, it takes a lot more bullets for you to kill them. So you, you really gotta play this weapon uh, according to its strengths. Like you're gonna really want to close the gap and get the flanks off on the enemy, back rage. That's where it's gonna excel, and you're gonna be able to do phenomenal with it. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys like to run this sneaky weapon. Uh, also tell me uh, what gun you'd like to see featured in the next episode of Bare Bones uh, Sunday, which will probably be next Sunday and not Tuesday. Uh, like the video, dislike the video, share, subscribe, that always helps me a lot. But yeah, until the next video, uh, have a good one and take it easy.